grabs or troublesome topics for many students across the region. In our recent July Human and Social Biology 2021 paper, there we had a graph to be solved. It was a bar graph. Many students are accustomed to a simple bar graph. However, this was a different type of bar graph that required multiple bars. The question of course could have been solved using a simple bar graph but would have taken some skillful maneuver and would not have lent itself to the type of analysis or the ease of analysis as it would have been for the multiple bar graph. In this video I'm going to be showing you both graphs and walking you through what was expected of you. I'll also be showing you both ways in which a question could have been solved and allow you some space to solve it on your own. Follow in the description as we are going to be putting out a publication on graphs for both CXC and CAPE students. You want to make sure that you like, share, and subscribe to this channel. And when you subscribe, ensure you hit that notification bell so that you can be notified as soon as there is an informative publication. So the table is on screen that was presented on the exam. It's a human and social biology July 2021 exam. And we're looking particularly at the graph on the paper where we were supposed to have done the bar graph. I'll read a question for you. The question for the exam stated, Table 2 shows data collected in five Caribbean countries. Comparing the number of live births of women who attended antenatal clinics versus those women who did not attend antenatal clinic. And then it follows with the table on screen. And the question or your task is supposed to, on the grid provided on page 7, plot a bar graph to show the live birth rate of a number of women who attended antenatal clinic and the women who did not attend antenatal clinic for each country shown in the table. If you were able to successfully maneuver yourself through that question, you would have gotten five marks for the question. You would have seen my many videos on graphs, so I'm going to just hop right into this question. The independent variable here is going to be countries. So I'm just going to be showing you on this graph, and then I'm going to up on to another graph. So if we look, this is the common orientation of our page, and this is the one we got in the exam. We could have used this by using uh, two columns to represent a country, and then we skip a column using two columns to represent a country. Just let me do that on screen very quickly. Uh, just a very quick demo as to what is expected of you if you were supposed to have done this question. So I'm going to be drawing on the screen. So for example, this could have been a country. This could have been one of a variable there. And this could have been another of a variable. And these variables are looking at women who attended the clinic versus those who did not. So I'm just going to make this a little taller so that you can see. I'm also going to be changing the color. I'm going to be changing the color there. So I'll fill it and I'll give it probably a green. So one there representing uh, the student, they, 
one there representing the parent who attended you could choose which one you want to use i'm just giving you an idea as to how it should be done or how it can be done and we strongly suggest that you just try it at home i am not going to be doing it for you i sure that you'd love the opportunity too so this represent another and i could just change this i have nothing on the axis i could just change that for you so there we go and you would continue like that until you get on over representing all five data set all right so this is just one way that it could have been done and i'm going to show you so there we have it it could have been like that uh, we could have represented the information turning the data turning the table sideways and again we could have just used a simple bar graph where we could have just gone up like that I'm not using any numbers to the side because you would have mastered that part already however to see me do this entire graph you could follow on the channel and I'll definitely do it to show you the outcome so here we have the graph I'm just going to be using green because we used green before so I'm going to be using green so there we go fill it green there but the thing about this in this case we wouldn't allow the bars to touch all right so then what would we do that is the question in this case we would do this so that would have represented Grenada uh, we could do it like that and we're not using the numbers on the, the table we just have random numbers here so we suggest that you try this and use the number on the on the table or in the table to complete the graph so we could have done it either like this this is a multiple bar graph this type is called a multiple bar graph or we could have done it like this this is pretty much the simple bar graph that most students would have been taught about bar graphs so bar graph simple multiple now remember when we are working with these because we are having this multiple bar graph you realize that we'll have to have a key to show what green represent what uh, blue represent you are going to be just uh, stippling our cross hatch as it were for your exam so you'd have to have a key and of course you want to have a scale and here you're using a, a one centimeter to represent a unit whichever the unit so that we can do in another publication but i just wanted to show you so your graph is supposed to have a title all the axes are supposed to be labeled you're supposed to have your scale in place now i'm going to be showing you a solved version of a graph using the computer so this is work for you to do on your graph leaf i don't want to take that away from you i want you to solve it as soon as you solve it you tell me and i'll just solve it for you and show you what the result is supposed to be let us look at this solved version. So this is the table that was given in the exam like we saw earlier. Now, like I said, we could solve it using a simple graph. That is a simple graph here. And if you observe, we have a key or a legend here telling what blue represent versus what red represent. If you observe, the graph has a title because the graph is supposed to have a title. And here, the axis is labeled as countries and here the axis is of course labeled that countries and you are seeing the scale with a gradation of 10 going up to 90 here you are seeing the scale showing the different countries uh grenada guyana jamaica trinidad and tobago and Suriname. so this is a simple way in order for you to achieve this on the graph leaf you would have to turn the, the graph leaf in that landscape orientation so turn it sideways some persons would say however this would have been not so suitable because you're going to find that you are just going to be using about half of your graph leaf if you were supposed to use this method and you know that the convention is saying that you're supposed to use at least 70 to 75 percent 
of a graph leaf to represent your information. So when we look at the other graph, this would have been more suitable because all five countries would have been represented and the five countries represented would have, of course, been uh, appropriately uh, framed on your graph in that it would have taken up the correct amount of space on the graph for it to be easily interpreted. Now, again, we have a legend or a, a, a key one would say, and we would have seen the axis here being labeled country just the same. But this is another bar graph. And as it is said here, it is called a multiple bar bar graph multiple bar so it could be multiple bars for a country all right we could put in another woman and it could be three bars for one set four bars for one set that type of a thing so whichever way you answer should earn you some mark but the most appropriate answer for that question that was on the paper was to use a multiple bar graph but if you were able to get the simple bar graph on the paper then you should be fine now this is all we wanted to show you the bar graphs what it should look, look like what you can do and of course allow you the opportunity to go and practice so remember we could use a simple bar graph which is this one where the bars are not touching or we could use the multiple bar graph where bars based on a set they are touching as it were grenada has a set touching uh, Guyana has a set touching the blue color there representing women who attended the clinic and the red color there representing women who did not attend the clinic so that is what we refer to as our key or our legend remember to like share and subscribe and you really want to hit that notification bell and select all so that you will be notified as soon as there is a new and informative publication it was really a pleasure working with both teams bio and hsb for the csec examination we are looking forward to working with more students come september be reminded to look out for our books they are going to be on all major platforms, some of which will be correcting some of the errors that students continue to have, including graphs. Thanks much for stopping by.